Hi and welcome, it's Joanna Hunter here from joannahunter.com and today I'm going to show you how to set up your Thrive web page on your um, computer here. So what I want to do is just tell you exactly where we're at. So at the moment what I've got is a very fresh install on my getselfishbook.com site and I've just installed that through my um, hosting service which I use one on one so I've installed this through the hosting service I've gone ahead and activated it using my Thrive Themes activation key that I got when I purchased Thrive Themes so apart from that I have done diddly squat this is it so what I've got is super fresh here so to start ourselves off what we want to do is we want to go down to this little area here and we want to go down to Thrive Themes we're just going to go ahead and click on that and then we're going to go ahead and click on Thrive Options. So we can have a choose the type of logo that we want. We can have text or we can have an image. And here what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select image and I'm going to go and upload my image um, here. And I've already actually installed a couple of images in the media library, so that's really super simple. But if you were going to install your image, you would just click on select files and then find the file that you wanted in your computer. So here what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click my media library. And as you can see, I've got a selection here of different logos. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick this little one and select. And it now gives me... A logo now I can choose where I want the logo I can have the logo at the side of the menu or I could have it at the top of the menu so what I would have if I picked at the top of the menu is I would have my logo at the top and then I would have my um, my menu underneath and I'm going to go ahead and pick side of the menu I've switched off the header phone this is just ability to basically go ahead and um, and have a phone number there and I don't really want that so copyright test 2016 by get selfish book so I'm going to go ahead and change this because my trading company that I trade under is Joanna Hunter Media so I'm just going to change that to Joanna Hunter Media and this is really handy because this footer text means that it will just appear on the footer of every page that I create so I don't have to keep putting it in which is really handy and um footer copyright links are on and display breadcrumbs and I'm going to switch this off um, because it just puts little bits that I don't want that are not going to look very nice. So I'm going to go ahead and save all changes and then you can go in here and do blog settings, social media, comments. So I'll just for the purpose of this video I'll just go through these very very quickly. So I've just got it set at default because this site that I'm creating won't actually be a blog so you can decide how you want it. Um, featured image so you can have a wide thumbnail around or no image for your blog post and this is all to do with your blog post this piece. So show a featured image in a single post so that's on and meta information that's like the important stuff so basically who the author is so that would be you and it would come up with the information that you have just here. So if you can see, it's a picture of me and then I have my profile. So if I had author information, it would just come up with this information that's here. And post dates and post categories. So you can create categories for your posts and things. And display links to previous and next posts. So if I was doing it for myself, what I would do is yes. Because I always have... Um, a saying in my business which is make it easy for your customer make it easy for your client you know so if it's easy to find other posts then do it and um, other settings is you can have the read more and, and things so basically I've just go ahead I've made a couple of changes there so I will save them and um, analytics and scripts this is the bit where you would put in um, things like Google Analytics and things here you don't need to worry about them and you can choose how your images are optimized here. So by setting this, is um, it gives you a little explainer here of what you're doing. And it will take um, lazy load comments and lazy load images and things like that. So 
and the next one is comments so you can have um you can enable facebook comments and then you need to integrate your facebook and create a facebook app id but don't worry about that either it's just all stuff that you don't really need the really important one is the general settings here and then in social media you can create your twitter bu buttons and handles and things like that there and i would go ahead and maybe do that as well and work with that apprentice is if you want to do online courses so again don't worry about your apprentice pages to start with this is just to get you started okay so basically that's me just going through all these pages very very quickly super 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 quick and to be honest you don't really need um anything else other than here this just gives you um if you have like an oopsie and somebody misfires and it ends up somewhere in your site that doesn't exist this 404 page you can customize the text here so you might want to go ahead and do that but apart from general settings we've set our logo we set our image now so we're ready to go so the next thing that we want to do is we want to go over to pages and we're just going to go ahead and add new so you're going to add um, put your page title here and for this one I'm just going to write home this is my home page and when you're ready you just go ahead and you publish and that gives you the permalink of getselfishbook.com backslash home and you might want to go ahead and edit that but I'm not I'm just going to go ahead and create a new page so I'm going over back to pages and I'm going to add new So in this page, for instance, I might write about me. Create your about me page. So just go ahead and publish. Just update. And then I will go and add new page again. Now the reason I'm making all these pages is I'm going to show you in a minute. So we could have maybe work with me. next and then we go ahead and publish and if you can see every time I'm creating these pages it's giving me a permalink here that is to do with my page here as well okay so if that doesn't happen then you need to change it here in settings you need to go into general and writing in these and permalinks here to change how your permalinks are structured if it's not happening the way I'm the way you're seeing it here on my example so I'm just going to go ahead and update that and then we are going to add new page again. So we just add the next page. So now we have a home and about me, a work with me and we might do, um, what else could we have? Well, let's just say we do a blog. So we put in blog and we click publish here. Okay. So, and then we um, update and we add, um, and we now go into all pages. So if I go into all pages, I'll just edit this and publish that. Sorry, I hadn't published it last time, I hadn't updated it. So just update. Go back into all pages. You're going to see my lovely list now. So on my lovely list, I have about me. I have blog, home, sample page, which was already there, and work with me page. So what I want to change now is I want to go into, um, I'm just going to go and visit my site. So as you can see, I've got my, um, my Get Selfish logo here. Okay, and I haven't assigned a primary menu yet, and you've got it set up like this, like a blog. And obviously, I don't want all my pages like that. So how I'm going to get around that is I'm going to click Customize. And I'm going to go into Static Front Page. And now that I've got pages to select from, I'm going to select a Static Front Page. And I'm going to select a Home Page. And then my Post Page I'm going to select blog 
and I'm going to save and publish. Once you've done that and you've saved and published, you just want to go ahead and click this to come out of here. And so you see my little logo here and then you've seen here as well and then my home page is written here. If I go back into my dashboard now, um, the next thing that I want to do is I want to go to um, manage widgets and menus and I want to click on menus. And here's I'm going to show you how to create your menu. So we've got this screen here and we're going to go into main and we're going to um, click create menu. So this is now my um, main menu and now all I'm going to do is select the pages that I want in my main menu. So I've made these four new pages so I want them so I click add to menu and now I can decide how I'm going to have them. So if I just click on them and move them around I can have home um, and if I if it goes like that, it becomes a sub item. So we don't want that as a sub item. So we make sure that they stay as they are, because otherwise, what will happen is they become sub menus. And so I like that structure now. I like home, work with me, about me, and my blog, just in that order. So what I'm going to do now is just click save menu. And if I on this page go down here to menu settings. I um, automatically add new top level pages to this page so I could select that if I wanted and theme locations could be primary menu or footer menu so I'm making this my primary menu and I will just click save again. So how will, how has that affected us? If I go back to um, all pages again and I go into this front page, can you see now it says it's front page and now it says it's like this. So if I go into into this and um, we'll just click view, shall we? So you can see. So basically what you can see now is I've got this rather nifty menu here that will take me to all my pages. If I just click there, it comes up with work with me. And now obviously I need to start customizing. And if you can see my blog has now got the toolbar down the side here. And this is the widgets. So if you go into widgets, you can customize this area here. But what we wanna do is we wanna focus on creating maybe your first home page. So if I go ahead now and open up my Thrive Content Builder. So it just takes a moment to load. And at this point, I am super ready to go. So for instance, I might decide that I want an image at the beginning here. So I would go ahead and just upload an image. And of course, I don't have a lot of images to choose from in my library, but if we were doing this properly, we would add in loads. So say for instance, I wanted this big logo here and um, I just want to center that. And then I'm gonna make that smaller now to sit there. And I might decide that, um, close that down, and I might decide that I want some text here and fill in all my text. So um, I can write, hi, welcome, for instance, blah, blah, blah. And here we are, um, here we have this. So we just go ahead and save changes. And now we're just starting to build, and you're just going to use the icons now to build and drag and drop all of the elements that you want. If you want rid of this home, where you're going to get that is by going into the page um, and actually editing the, so if I go into here, edit page, and if you scroll down, it'll sh page title, and if I click hide on that, and then it has all different like social media custom codes and stuff that you can do. Also as well, if you want to set a specific image for that page, for instance, it might be your homepage, so you want to set a really snazzy picture so that when you share it on places like social media and things, it will have that really cool image. So you just want to go ahead and do that there as well. And then you're just going to go and update. And if you open the Thrive Content Builder again, just by clicking this little guy here, Maybe click it again. There we go. 
and now we've got this what so you can see that this big image here has just gotten lost now one of the things that I like to use and you can add these menus in later because there is um, there's an option here to add menus in if I scroll through these I will get them the menus to add in but um, I often like to use landing pages so if you use a landing page you're simply just going to go choose landing page and um, you can pick something like um, you could pick a, a blank landing page if you wanted but say for argument's sake we go for this and um, we load this landing page up just to show you the difference that it makes okay so here we have some uh, geezer here looking all very smiley and all you're going to do here is this is just a little menu that you can get rid of very easily by changing your logo you can go into here and change image I'll show you very quickly or say for instance we've got the get selfish logo there so we'll just put in get selfish there and you can see very very quickly how you can begin to customize this page and you don't have to have it like this say for instance I don't like this background image so I pick some of my glitter and I just insert into post you can see very quickly how you can customize one of their landing pages and you can pop your menu up there if you want so it's all personal choice of how you want it so I'm just going to go back out of Thrive um, of here and then back to this customize your site so I hope this video has been super super useful and just as a reminder we started off by going into Thrive themes and going into Thrive options they have a uh, page templates here as well um, and you can put in all different things that you can put into your page settings here um, so enable privacy policy and disclaimer templates and I would um, these are legal requirements especially in Europe they're legal requirements so what I would suggest is that you have those in and then if you want to create actual um, your page templates you can click disclaimer privacy policy lead generation page thank you page and let's just click that home in fact let's just click all of these and then uh, generate uh, selected pages oh and let's make them editable with the Thrive Content Builder so you make sure this is ticked and this is ticked and then you'll get all these pages just automatically generated as well as another way of doing it so if I go into there now I, it takes me to straight to pages and if I go into this home page one um, and I go into the Thrive Content Builder, you're going to see here's one with the menu on the top and this is, the, this is the minus theme that I'm using. So you will see very quickly and very easily that again, it's just super easy to customize. I can just go in here, um, Joanna Hunter Rocks. super easy right so you can change um, everything again and then this page has just got a little bit more stuff going on so you can and this is their default um, for the minus theme this is the default sort of um, home one and then if you notice here at the bottom all my copyright text is in there it's got designed by Thrive Themes and of course this is totally um, empowered by WordPress so again I can change these things as well in the settings and there's got all my um, at the moment it's got thrive all thrive stuff so again I would change these in the settings as well so I hope this has been super 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 useful to you just go back here and um, yeah so just make sure that you go into the thrive themes page to start with and that will get you started in this one here so I will speak to you soon and catch you in the next video